Hello and welcome to another dose of Dr. Owen's Muscle Medicine with me, a medical doctor and chemist. In today's video titled, What the L's? You can expect to learn what is the difference between L-carnitine and carnitine, L-arginine and arginine, and indeed all the other fitness supplements for which this naming structure applies. Now, first, the elephant or L-elephant in the room is that supplement labels can be really confusing with lots of supplements marketed both with and without an L in front of the name. This can baffle us and sometimes cause us to wind up buying two products that are almost exactly the same. Now, to understand the difference between L-carnitine and carnitine, the best thing to do is consider our two hands. For most of us, our hands are made up of exactly the same stuff and when we bring them together, we find that they are perfect mirror images of each other. But despite this, they are different in one important way, and that is their orientation. If we place one hand on top of the other, we know that one cannot take the place of the other, no matter how hard we try, because they're orientated differently. Now, if we could magically take our left hand off of our left arm and place it onto the right arm, and vice versa. We would regret doing so because their different orientations would make them extremely difficult to use. How this relates to L-carnitine and carnitine or any of the other exotic supplements out there is that these molecules, despite being made of the same stuff and coming as perfect mirror images of each other, do exist in two distinct orientations like our hands. So just as we have an L hand and an R hand, so too we have L-carnitine and you guessed it, D-carnitine. The reason for the slightly confusing L and D labels is this. Scientists love the Latin language. And the Latin for left is levus, and the Latin for right is dexter. Now, what is the real world significance of having two mirror image forms of the same molecule when it comes to fitness supplementation? Well, firstly, the human body produces only the L version of carnitine and arginine but our industrial processes tend to produce a 50-50 mixture of both L and R versions. These are then sometimes filtered and separated into vats of L and R, and sometimes sold together. Regarding carnitine specifically, the R form has been shown to block L-carnitine from doing its job. So, if you were thinking of buying this supplement, despite its extremely weak evidence that it improves metabolism and accelerates fat loss, you'd want to opt for L-carnitine over carnitine, which may be a mixture of both forms or inaccurate labeling. Regarding L-arginine, the evidence is not so clear as to what D-arginine does, but again, our bodies produce L-arginine and not D-arginine. So it makes sense to supplement with something we're already programmed to build and use rather than the form that we don't make or use. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. For more, subscribe to the channel.